Hi, this is Dr. Brady Hurst. Today I want to give you an, uh, a new video update here. Uh, today's subject is going to be on PCOS and a condition called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Okay, here's, here's the deal. What's, I've been getting a lot of questions uh, about PCOS, which is polyovarian cystic uh, syndrome, which is when women develop cysts on their ovaries. This, this can promote infertility. Uh, and heart disease and a lot of other things because it's promoted by an increase of a male dominant hormone called testosterone. What I wanted to, to talk about today is the relationship between PCOS and a condition called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Now Hashimoto's thyroiditis is an immune system disorder in which the body's immune system attacks normal healthy thyroid cells. Now the thyroid gland is kind of like our body's thermostat. Okay, when, when it's uh, operating normally, we should have a constant temperature, a constant metabolism. Everything should be working at our individual levels. What we'll see is that when the immune system starts to attack the thyroid gland, the thyroid gland will end up uh, basically uh, becoming exhausted, if you will. It's been attacked so much, it's now become exhausted, and then you have what's called a hypothyroid state. This is when you'll see women, especially women, and men also, be very fatigued, weight gain, hair loss, uh, constipation. You'll see everything slow down, okay? Um, and so, what the studies have been showing, and what's very important for a, a lot of you folks to know, is that there's a large number of folks, uh, women, with PCOS and Hashimoto's together. And they're basically promoting the same uh, uh, a dysfunction, but a cycl cyclic dysfunction, meaning that one is promoting the other and it continues and continues and continues and grows and grows and grows. But you'll see that with, um, if, if you've been diagnosed with PCOS, you're typically just put on a diabetic type medication to help lower insulin. That will help in general lower testosterone. But the other promoters of ill health or, or these, these dysfunctions that are happening rarely get looked at. And so today I, I wanted to share that bit of information with you because it's very important that if you've been diagnosed with PCOS and you haven't had your thyroid checked out, you have to get your thyroid checked out. It's very, very, very important. There's a large number of women who have thyroid uh, disorders, and it's either mimicking PCOS or promoting it, and vice versa, okay? So it's very important. Now, it, when you get your thyroid levels checked, okay, you have to make sure that there's, there's two crucial tests that need to be included with that. They're called a TPO and a TGA antibody test. These are antibodies, this test detects antibodies uh, to the thyroid gland, okay? So it's very important. These tests rarely get run unless there's a massive goiter in, in the thyroid area. And the reason why it rarely gets run is that whether it's positive or negative, if you're having thyroid symptoms, the standard of care is to just give more thyroid hormones, okay? So the underlying dysfunctions are rarely, rarely ever looked at. So. Uh, I hope this is some good information you can take away. I'm Dr. Brady, the clinic director here at TrueHealthLabs.com. Uh, subscribe um, to uh, to this uh, to my uh, videos here. I I I put out videos often, and uh, and hopefully they're extremely helpful. Uh, also, you can join me at the uh, Ask Dr. Brady Live, in which I take your questions live. You can visit TrueHealthLabs.com. Under resources, you'll see Ask Dr. Brady Live, and you can get involved there if you have questions or if you have family members or friends that have pressing health questions, you can go there. Thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.